Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Maddie. If you're new, welcome. I feel mostly luxury related videos, so if you do enjoy watching those kind of videos, I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join my little YouTube family. And if you're not new, shout out to you. You're a real one. So today's video is um, an unboxing, but it's an unboxing from Fashion File. So I ordered a bag. I'll show you guys what bag it is. It's not on my wish list, but I saw it and I liked it and I decided to get it. Um, yeah, so I decided to go the pre-loved route just so I could save a couple of bucks. Because I just felt like the new ones were crazy expensive. And um, yeah, I just didn't feel like spending that much money on this bag. I actually have the box with me right here. I don't want to show the front because it has all my information on it. I literally just went to pick it up like a half hour ago. Um, so yeah. This is a true unboxing, but before I get into that, I just kind of wanted to talk about Fashion File a little bit. Um, so I decided to do the layaway program or like the payment plan. When you go on Fashion File, you have like a layaway option where you can put money aside. I think it's for 60 days. So you get 60 days where you have to pay off the entire amount. You do have to put down like a certain amount first. I don't really know what the percentage is, but um, you have to put like... A certain amount down and then like for the rest of the 60 days you can pay with whatever card you want to it could be credit it could be debit you can put um whatever amount you want to put so it doesn't have to be like the exact same amount every time you pay which i thought was pretty awesome um yeah and like they don't stress you i mean they do send you an email towards the end of the 60 days just to let you know that you know you have whatever amount left and you have whatever amount of days left i think it's a pretty amazing program i don't know why i keep calling it a program but you get my point um yeah so i decided to do the whole reserve payment thing and i initially did this in april yeah, so it almost, it took me the full 60 days because I wanted to like go through the entire process. I did pay, I think my deadline is tomorrow, but I paid it off like a week ago. I just wanted to take um, my time and like take full advantage of the whole program. That's what today's video is going to be about. I feel like I've already rambled on too much. So without further ado, I am just going to open up the box and show you guys what I got. Here's the box. I have it on me on my lap. So here's a box. Uh, it has a lot of like, ta what is this? It has like paper stuff that's like decoration and it's falling all over the place. But this is a box. Um, I'm just going to hold it up. It has this and it says thank you. And then on the back it says fashion file. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. Oh, I think it's the file. Right. Okay, so this is the fashion file. Does it make sense? Fashion file and like a nail file. Get it? And then it says, I like my money where I can see it hanging in my closet. Right there. Um, and what is this? So this is the receipt of the item that I got. Uh, it says we want this backpack. And they just have like little, like whatever these things are. Cash for your bag, shop, sell, repeat, blah, blah, blah. And then here's the receipt. And again, there's like all these things that's like flying all over the place. And then there's a sticker on it that says use is the new new right there. So I just took the bag out of it and this is what it looks like. So it's wrapped in like paper and then it's also in a dust bag. So right now it's in a fashion file dust bag. I'm not sure if it's going to come with the dust bag of the bag that I actually ordered. Um, as you can see, it's a, it's a big bag, sort of. It's not a small one. I do intend to use this for work. So it, it's looking like it doesn't come with the dust bag of the bag that I bought. It just comes with the fashion file dust bag, which, I mean, I did buy it pre-loved. It would have been nice to have the dust bag from the actual um, fashion house that I got the bag from, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, without further ado, actually, yeah, you guys can try to guess what bag it is. I feel like no one's really going to be able to guess what it is because it's not on my wish list and it's not a fashion house that I've ever talked about. It's a soft handle bag and, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what bag I got. Here it is. Ooh. So here is the bag that I decided to purchase. It's the Givenchy Antigona and I got it in black. And I believe this is pebbled leather. It's not the smooth leather. So on the fashion file side, I just checked. This is called the Givenchy Antigono Small in the Sugar Gold Skin um, Leather. 
this is like it's not the smooth leather it's the like the grainy pebbled leather i think that's what it is and obviously i got it in black and it's with silver hardware um I think if you buy this brand new, it retails for $22.90 plus tax, and I was able to get it for $1,600, um, everything included. So I want to say I saved a good, because tax here in New York is 8.8 .8 something, so let me just calculate that really quick. I just calculated it, and with tax, I would have been looking at around $2,500, and I was able to get this for $1,600, everything included. So I saved roughly about $900 just by going the pre-loved route. So now that that's out of the way, let me just go on the Fashion File site to tell you guys what the description is. So on the Fashion File website, this is described as, well, the condition is excellent. It says it has smoothing of leather, faint scuffs, and then in the interior it has marks. And then on the hardware, it scratches, and then it just says it comes with a strap. So yeah, let's see if it's in excellent condition. So this is the front. It is a little, um, what's the word? The shape is a little weird, but I'm guessing that's because there's nothing in it. And then the back, there are a couple of scratches. There's like a couple of scratches on here, or maybe it's the smoothing of the leather. Um, yeah. And what else? The bottom does have a little scuff right here, but nothing too obvious. I mean, it, I would say it is an excellent condition, at least the exterior. Um, so it looks fine to me. And then it does come with the strap, like they said. Let's see if it's, oh, it's not detachable. So I think this is one of the older models because the strap doesn't seem to be detachable. It doesn't say what year this was made. Um, it does say on here that if you remove the tag, then you own the bag. I do plan on keeping the bag. I mean, it seems fine from the outside, but let's inspect the inside just to see. So here's the inside of the bag. Um, it looks perfect to me. It has a smell, but it has like a new bag smell. Like it doesn't smell like anything that it's not supposed to smell like. And the straps seem to be fine. It did say that the hardware has scratches on it. I don't see any scratches on the hardware. I mean, I do see one, but I feel like these things can be wiped off. But all in all, I think the bag is in great condition. It is kind of annoying that the strap doesn't come off just because I don't see... Well, I mean, I guess I can carry it like this. It doesn't matter. It is short. This is definitely like the older model because I believe the newer models, the strap is detachable and it might be a little longer. I might be wrong. So yeah, this is the item that I picked up from Fashion Files, the Givenchy Antigona um, in the small size. If you watch my Seattle vlog, you see that I try it on. Um, the mini was too small. The medium was way too big on my frame. I felt like I would have been drowning in it. Um, so I decided to go with this one, even though it doesn't fit a laptop. And I have mentioned that I carry a work laptop with me. Um, sacrifices I'm going to have to make, I'll just carry it on my hand and that's fine. Um, so yeah, you guys should definitely check out Fashion File. Um, let me know if you've ever purchased anything from Fashion File, if you had a good experience with them or not. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button down below and um, turn on the notification bell so you know each time I upload um, a video. Also follow me on Instagram if you, aren't, if you aren't already following me on Instagram. I do plan on like spicing up my Instagram page a little more because I just feel like it's been a little dead um but yeah follow me on instagram if you're not following me on instagram subscribe like comment and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in my next video bye